So now that we have printed something to the screen, uh, we started out with hello world and we printed that to the screen. Um, I'm going to introduce a new concept and that concept is called a variable. And so I'm going to move the uh, hello world down to the next line by going to the beginning and hitting enter. I can even move it down a couple here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create something called a variable. And a variable is just a container that holds something. And the most um, simple thing that it can hold is called a string. Sometimes it's called a string literal. And all it means is it is a, a list of characters, a collection of characters where the order cannot change. So if I say something like str name equals here, str name is the name of my container and equals says I'm about to put something in this container. What do I want to put in there? Let's put in the name George. And so now what is inside str name inside that container is a string of characters. We read it as George, but Python sees it as capital G, lowercase e, lowercase o, lowercase r, lowercase g, lowercase e. And why do I bother to mention up, uh, uppercase versus lowercase? Well, because Python doesn't see those letters as the same thing. So this and this are not the same string, even though to us it's the same name, different characters mean it's a different string. So str name equals George. Now what can I do with a container like this? Well, one of the things I can do with it is I can tell print to print out that container. So if I print that str name out like this, str name equals George, when I print it, it's not going to print the character's str name. It's going to print whatever's inside that variable. So the variable is, is a container, but when I use print with the variable, it prints what's inside that container. So if I run that program, you can see down here, it says George. So the neat thing about print is that print allows me to print more than one thing. So if I print the string hello, and then I print a variable like str name, then it's going to print hello George. Now you'll notice, or maybe you'll notice, that down here, let's make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to read, down here we've got hello George and it has a space in between those two. But you'll notice up here there's no space in that part of the string and there's no, no, no space in this string either. The space is put in by the print function when we print more than one thing, it will space them out automatically. And if I want to, I can, I can change that space to something else, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I can print, hello, George. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I've got, hello, George, and then nice to meet you. And once again, it puts in those spaces even though I don't have them. So basically, wherever there's a comma here, you can count on there being a space added. So that's a basic way that you can put a variable into a string to be printed out. And variables can hold all kinds of different data. A string is just one of those, but we'll get into some of those things in projects in the future.